Hello learners! Today I will be discussing to you a new topic, kinematics. Kinematics is part of mechanics that describes motion. The concept of describing motion is already part of our everyday language. To describe motion, we need to understand the meaning of different physical quantities, and that is what I am going to explain to you in this video. The topics to be discussed are the following. Position, the difference between distance and displacement, the difference between speed and average velocity, and the definition of instantaneous velocity. The most essential learning competency for today is to convert a verbal description of a physical situation involving a uniform acceleration in one dimension into a mathematical description. In this lesson, we will deal only with motion along straight line. I will be discussing simple equation to represent straight line motion. This is the concept map of the study of motion. Mechanics is, is the study of the relationship among force, matter, and motion. Kinematics is part of mechanics that describe motion, while dynamics relates motion with its cause. Kinematics can be described in terms of units such as meters, meter per second, and meter per second square. Motion with constant acceleration can be described mathematically by algebraic expression while situations in which acceleration varies during motion, we will use calculus or integration to describe motion. Motion can also be visualized using graphs such as position time graph, velocity time graph, and acceleration time graph. But we will discuss that in our next video lesson. Topic number one, position. A particle's position is the location of the particle with respect to the cho chosen reference point. By convention, we will consider the origin of the coordinate system as our reference point. We will now proceed to the next topic. I am going to explain the difference between the distance and displacement. Distance is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity is defined as the physical quantity with magnitude and no direction. Displacement is a vector quantity. Vector quantity is a quantity that has magnitude and it has direction. Example of distance is the length of path in which a tricycle covers when you go to school. Displacement is the overall change in the position of the object from start to finish. It concerns only the initial and final position of the object. Example, from your house to school. Again, please take note of this. Therefore, distance traveled is always greater than or equal to the displacement.
question number one, which refers to the change in position in a particular direction? A, distance, B, speed, C, velocity, D, displacement. The right answer is letter D, displacement. Let's solve example problem number one. Jenny walks three meter north and then turns and walk four meter east. Compute the distance and displacement. To compute the distance, just add three meters and four meters. It will give you a value of 7 meters. The distance is equal to 7 meters. To compute the displacement, we'll be using Pythagorean theorem, and this will give you a result of 5 meters. Displacement is equal to 5 meters. Example problem number 2. A high school student runs exactly three laps around a 400-meter track. Compute the distance and displacement. Distance is equal to 3 multiplied by 400 that is equal to 1,200 meters. Displacement is equal to zero. Why? Because the student started and stopped in the same place. Okay, so we will continue our discussion in our next video lesson. Thank you.